the, the things about Sophie's choice is character. As you mentioned, uh, her having to be forced by the Nazi to decide which of her children live. You don't know that at the front end of this film at all. And it's beautifully contrapuntal to Kevin Klein's wacky, absolutely absurd character, which Kevin knows how to do wonderfully, you know, fish call Wanda. <laughs> but uh, having that contrapuntal ability, we're not ready for what that onion peel comes off and it exposes as this character. We're just not prepared for it because it's on a level that we start out thinking, oh, this is pretty far out, you know, that's interesting. Performance is great, and suddenly we understand the characters. It's like the beginning of the best years of our lives. We're not sure where we're going with this, except there's returning soldiers. The beautiful Frederick March, you know, Dana Andrews. I mean, these characters were genuine people, but we would watch them deteriorate, which is the brilliance of that film. And the same thing happened in its own way. Although Sophie didn't deteriorate, she got strong through all of this stuff which made it, to me, a very poignant film, that she was able to work through all of those things, all those terrible things that were put upon her and come out on top.